we're at Davy Suicide, we're from Unhollywood, California. Um, we have Ashes on guitar, uh, Brent Ashley on bass, and Draven on drums, and Needles on keyboard. Um, I think the LA scene, the consistent LA scene is a lot of bands that aren't doing anything and most of the bands that are doing stuff are always traveling. So they don't really see what the LA scene is, but I think the LA scene generally is just a revolving door of people that are in failed projects and doing drugs and slaying girls when they should be getting better. <laughs> it's true. Pretty accurate. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, to be honest with you, I'm, I mean, I'm just getting educated on now, so uh, um, I think it seems like it's coming from uh, a place that's that's really pure, which is cool. I think a lot of the music fans here, um, you know, they're not trying to live up to like this Hollywood standard, and uh, I think in, in essence what that does is it just kind of gives it more of a pure feel. Yeah, I mean, I, I think... Uh, when you're doing things for the right reasons, I think it, it translates to fans more, and that's it's more obvious. And uh, and I think I think that's one thing that I've noticed about the fans that are here. It's like they, they appreciate things a lot, and so I think it's that's cool. But for that's what I've been noticing so far. I generally have a topic, and then I branch off from it. Uh, and sometimes, really, I'll have a riff or I'll have a hook. I, I come up with shit in the shower or when I'm driving. Probably the most two inconvenient places to have something to write down. But uh, it starts with a hook, and then I'll build around it. I'll put a drum, drum beat together and then start building on it. And, um, bring it to needles, and then we'll have a cloud song. Yeah, a lot of this new record, um, you know, I'd bring in the, the, the finished thought and then he'd add his production and twist, twist stuff around that he wanted to change and then we bring the guys in after we basically have the whole thing put together and then they'll, they'll go over it and see what, what they feel is uh, needing to be switched around. I think that the, because you want to have a good concentrated thought, if you have too many people involved, the ideas get shot down before they start formulating and then uh, I don't think the idea ever really gets manifested correctly. So I've found lately that just putting the whole idea together and then bringing a, the version of what I hear is, is bringing the best result. You know? uh, I mean, I was, came from a dark place when I was, when I was younger. Um, and then I just really gravitated towards horror, horror films and stuff like that. So um, I always just pictured this as like us falling into a gutter and just waking up and walking out of it. And we looked like the remains of these like monsters that came from it. And uh, they always joke about that our band is full of monsters and stuff. So I feel like it, it, it essentially comes from all that. It's a derivative of all of those. I hate the things they cannot understand. Shaking the devil's hands Grab a gun and hang your morals Grab a gun and hang your morals Grab a gun and hang your morals Grab a gun and kill everyone 
My monsters were, I, I liked psychotic, crazy dudes, like, I loved Hannibal Lecter, um, I loved, like, I'm fascinated with, like, serial killers, like, Man Charles Manson, John Wayne Gacy, you know, Ed Gein, um, that is more intriguing to me because that shit actually happened, and I think for someone to get in that mindset to do those acts and basically give away the rest of their life to committing what they feel is the necessary thing to happen right there is more interesting to me than like Frankenstein. So like the hidden monster. Yeah, I think so. I think I think because everyone's a shell and everyone has a core and the idea of like the core being this crazy thing is awesome. I've just been seeing how the industry has changed and the idea of what a star is has gotten so watered down from like all these like uh, TV shows like American Idol and stuff like that and it, it's like what is the star? Is a star someone that, you, that wins a popular karaoke contest that's televised? Or is a star someone that you know has a story to tell because they were born a certain way and they, they overcame all these things that made them into this character that they are. And um, so it's a generation like fuck star, like fuck your idea of what a star is, you know what I mean? Let's go back to the root of like what makes an artist a real artist.